the freestyle music. We, we call it like a break dance or something, no freestyle. <laughs> right? And yes. You're listening to the voice of Dalia. Company B right here as well, next to Susan. From and, Venezuela. Uh, from, from Venezuela. Saludos, mi gente de Venezuela. Yeah, que yeah. And we also have Asando. CD on. CD is on, on the phone. phone. Oh, yeah. She's not feeling well tonight. So she was not able to make it. <laughs> She's like, hi. Say uh, hi, CD. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, we hear you. They just put the phone up uh, next to the microphone. Yeah, we hope you feel better. Yeah, she's under the weather, so she wasn't able to make it here, but she's on the phone right here on yeah. the speakerphone with us. That's right. Oh, somebody says, what's up, my brother, DJ Otto? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So tell me, Susan, with Company B, where have you traveled? Uh, we've been to Brazil. Uh, we've been all of the United States. I left the room, uh, I think it was the 88, so I didn't get to travel when it was really, it really got hotter with the songs and stuff, but you know, in 2006 we regrouped together and we went to Brazil and we did like three shows over there, it was awesome. And we're looking forward to going back there also. Great, to Brazil, I, I hear a lot of things about Brazil, a big freestyle. Um, oh my God, yeah. someone, uh, uh, Julio sent me a video of like over like, 5,000 people in a club just jamming out to fascinate it. So he wants us to come over there so we're going to see what happens. There you go. we got to thank you to Brazil then. Hey. Anywhere in the world, invite us. We'll be there. <laughs> That's it. I hear you. I hear you. Take the DJ with you. <laughs> I'm ready to go too. <laughs> It's beautiful over there, yes. Yeah. And the people right. are so friendly. Yeah. Yes. So, out of all the places that you've been at, what's your favorite place? Hawaii. Hawaii! <laughs> Hawaii, I love Hawaii. Alright, Susan loves Hawaii. <laughs> Dali, what about you? Oh, my favorite place, I think, it, I don't know. Because I loved New York when we went to New York. It was awesome. Uh, we went to Onaya for the uh, Halloween performance shows. It was great. Great experience, um, and the, the next day we went to Manhattan for walk and, and the musical shows and everything. Oh my God, it's amazing there! Yeah, but in California, it's magic too. You know the people. It's I don't know. It's really cool. Um, I'm confused now, but I, I think my favorite is New York. New York. Yes. New York. Yes. Yeah, they went to see the play. Um, Gloria Estefan's play. Yeah, uh, we went to the musical uh, Gloria Estefan. Uh, on your feet and broad from Broadway. Oh my God, it's amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, we had a really, really great time. Yes, we did. Yes. yes. <laughs> We enjoyed you guys just uh, this past uh, Saturday mm -hmm. night. Right. Oh, For, yes. We had so a great time. Yes. Uh -huh. You guys did a great job there. It was an awesome show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the energy was great. It was, yeah. you know, everybody was, was, you could feel the love in the club that night. Yeah. It was awesome. Everybody was great. Lots of love. That's for Lots sure. Lots of love, yeah. yes. The freestock community is great. Yeah, they it's band cool. together when somebody needs help, we're there. We're banding together to help them, you know? Uh-huh. Put CD back on the microphone. Let's ask her what's her favorite place. CD, what's your favorite place? to go to Italy and eat some of that Italian food over right, there too. Some right, some pasta. Right. I love pasta. That's my favorite. Yes, yeah, my favorite. Right? Well, no pasta for us for Ah, us. sushi. No. <laughs> now that you have all the fans listening out there, tell them, where can they, uh, where can they see Company B as far as your website, your Facebook, your Instagram? Okay, Company B Music.com. That's where you can see, you know, videos, you can hear our music, our latest music. Um, you can purchase our t-shirts, our hats, our backpacks. Um, on Facebook, it's Company B, at The Real Company B. 
Instagram is company B, one word all together. And Twitter too. And Twitter no, too. Don't forget it. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> Some of them don't know, but Company B has their own uh, clothing line. They got, like you mentioned, your right. t-shirts. Our t-shirts. And our hats. Yes. Hats, uh -huh. backpacks. I see uh, hoodies. Yes, um, also hoodies. Those are special orders. Yes. And also, um, the new, no, go ahead. The new fragrance. Yeah, we're working on a new fragrance oh, also. Yes, oh, wow. Yeah. The new calendar, hot calendar. Yes, yeah. also a calendar. We're working on a calendar. You hear that, guys? I got the inside scoop. There's going to be some lingerie involved with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to right? work. Oh, I, I, already, I already ordered mine. I prepaid it already. Oh, really? <laughs> also, there's a new song that you have out. New song, Cruel Summer Remake. Yes. We have Giuseppe. Giuseppe remade the song for us. And we also have Saul Alvarez who did a remix for us also. And it's available? It's, it's available, available on iTunes, Spotify. It's just 99 cents. You can download it on iTunes. Just 99 cents. For the single. Oh, yes. The single. So yes. go out and purchase it. Show us some love. Company B. Oh, yes. <laughs> you hear that? I want everybody to stop what you're doing right now and go and support Company B and purchase a song. Hey, it's only 99 cents. You spend 99 cents buying anything. A, a bottle of water costs more than 99 cents. Right. So, yes. That's right. Everybody that's on there right now, listening right now, stop what you're doing just for a minute and purchase a song and come right back into the, the interview. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, stop what you're doing and support Company B. Go and buy the song. 99 cents. Come on. Yeah, you come know on. it's a cool summer here right now. It's really hot. Yes. Support us. Oh it's <laughs> really hot. Super hot, hot right now in the studio. God. I'm in here surrounded by a woman. You know how hot it is? <laughs> yeah, it was 95 degrees outside today in Miami. That's it. It's probably 125 in here now. <laughs> So, you got lots of fans out there listening to you right now. Let's see what we got. We're going to hear Fascinated from Company B. Right here on WEPA.FM. Once again, it was out in 1986 and still playing to today. 2017. How many years is that? Oh my gosh. Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. Right? Twelve. That's, that's incredible how you have this music, you know, from, from 1986, and, and it still comes on the radio, you know, and, and thanks to people like, like us, and my, you know, I, I have kids that are 26, 25, and they'll sing the words, you know? They sing the words, and they were in the concerts, they go to the concerts, the freestyle concerts, they go to, to all the clubs. And they put the music on, and, and you see these people that are in their 20s, That's you know, That's amazing. singing the words, yeah. you know, and, they, yeah. you, and people say, how do you guys know that music, you know? A lot of our fans now bring their kids to the shows, and they sing along. It's like, wow, this is amazing, Yeah, you I know? remember, we went to California, California. I remember a lot of kids fans. Right? right? Yeah, yeah they, a lot of kids they, there. They want to be with us. Free stuff, oh yes. My son was at a Cafe Iguanas, the 25-year-old, the okay. uh -huh. and, and he said that some female at the bar told him, what do you know about this music? He said, what, are you kidding me? No, <laughs> right. You had to grow up on it with, with listening to your parents, because we were playing it all in the house. Exactly. You know? So you had no choice, really, right? but to listen to it. Hey. Who behind you? What's up? Oh. Oh. Saul just there. walked into the studio. Yeah. Oh my God! I thought Saul, I was seeing. Saul was in the house. Oh, oh my God! God. You want to sit down? <laughs> Join that interview? Yeah. There you go. Oh my God! Yeah. Ladies, put him over there. That's yeah. it. That's here. Fascinated right here. Put him in the middle. TGIF. It was so good to see you. <laughs> oh wow! Sorry. Oh, in the middle, Saul. Money in the middle. Money. There's going to be a lot of people oh, coming okay. out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. 305-969-4626 if you want to talk to them. 305-969-4626. Give them a call. Freddie says hi. Freddie. Hi, Freddie. Hi, Freddie. The microphones are off, but they're live. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa Fernandez. Hey, Alyssa. Ray, of course. You. Hey, Ray. Ray. We love you. Ray, you need to call in and ask us some yes. questions. <laughs> Alyssa, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's no. Alex is on. Alex is on. Hey, Alex. Alex. Alex, hello. Hello. Johnny, just say hi. Johnny, Johnny. hey. 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 Oh. Okay, Jessica Ortiz is on. Jessica Ortiz. Yes, he's on. Marla. 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 <laughs> okay, um, Rodney. Hey, Rodney. Hi. Keith. 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 Keith Camper. Tell them the phone number so they can call in. Yeah, okay. What was the number? 305. 305. Call in. 969. 4626. 4626. There's a DJ in the house. Right here. Say hi. That's the number to call in. <laughs> Susan, you want to go ahead and say it again while we're on live? Hey, um, guys, we're going to be tomorrow at Aquafina uh, pool, party. pool party at 2 o'clock. With Ti and Ot and Eden Rock, come and hang out with us, okay? Miami Beach. In Miami Beach. That's the place to be this weekend. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a cool Celebrate. summer. <gasps> it's gonna be hot. It's <laughs> <laughs> too hot. Caliente. Next up, Caliente. caliente. Oh yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Is anybody calling? Yeah, What's up? I'm looking now. We need to somebody call. We're so happy. He just joined. Mm -hmm. Autumn? Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, Saul Lizette Perez says to tell you hello. Who? Lizette hello. Perez. Hey, Lizette. We're so happy to tell you to support us. Y'all, don't forget, go to iTunes and purchase our song, only 99 cents. Get your mother, your brother, your father, your friends. Go purchase Cool Summer. Let's make it number one. Yeah, Let's show free, freestyle is here to stay. Just 95. 99. 99. 99. Um, <laughs> Keith Camper. Hey, oh, Keith. He says, hello, girls. That was your best song. Fascinated. Oh, thank, thank you, Keith. You. Now okay. we got Cool Summer. Go buy it. Oh, the number again is 305. 969-4626. Call now. Like not. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. They're going to call through. I said. What? Call? I wore this shirt for you, Gail. Yeah? I wore this shirt for you, too. Nobody cares? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Linda. Linda was going to put in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I got him. He's in there. They're watching what he's doing. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah. Smart water. Yeah, That's smart water. Are you there, Siri? Keith, you know anybody okay. named okay. Keith Camper? Yeah. He's in. He loves it. You came by yourself? What? See, I, I, I keep my promises. Yes, sir. Stevie says she's sorry she couldn't be here. Uh huh. The world premiere. Yeah. Right. Saul's here. She should be here, right? I know. If I made it. Yeah. Oh, he wants to know if anybody did a remix of Fascinated. Okay, here we go. Oh. We're back live. Right here, 1986. We are back live. Hope you guys enjoyed that song.
and uh, Saul's in the house. Hello. That's all you got from me, Saul? Hello. So, what, what do you want from me? <laughs> Where, but... 1986, that was like yesterday, right? Years ago, of course. Well, years I was only ago. like one or two. Saul <laughs> so made it here, surprising company B. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, of course, I got a beer to support, you know, my girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Except, except one of them is not here. Mm. Uh -huh. so uh -oh. sweet. I won't say nothing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Did, did, did you hear about that calendar that's coming out? <laughs> uh, I'm waiting on it. Hopefully, I get one of the first copies here. Right. Oh my God. I, I already prepaid mine. Oh. <laughs> Is that PayPal company oh, music? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> great show last uh, last weekend, Saul. That was a great, great uh, show over there at uh, Cafe Iguanas. Nice little show, yeah. Right? Nice little show. <laughs> that was a big show. It was an amazing was, show. It was pretty amazing. I mean, uh, everyone uh, did a great job performing, and I think the fans loved it. And, I'm still speechless, you know, I, I, I can't stop thinking about it, uh, people keep on calling me and messaging me and, and uh, you know, the love that was there and the energy that was there, and if, if you didn't feel it, you're dead, you know, I mean, it was an amazing night, so, some people didn't make it out that night, <coughs> but, I got but it was stuck a great at night, work. it was an amazing night, you know? and, uh, and, and again, you know, just thanking everybody who came out, showed support, uh, especially the artists, and, and all you guys, you know, Wepa, and Miami Juan, and Charlie, and, to I mean, the list is just huge, you know, just so many people that supported and came together and, and you know, that's what the music is about, bringing people together and, and working for, towards a good cause and, you know, and so, amen and uh, adelante. Yes, yes, the love that was there that night uh, was incredible. So, yeah, you're right, you know, everybody uh, did it for Saul, that's what they did it for, they did it for Saul. We band together, yes. You know? Yeah. You guys gonna cry again. <laughs> 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 All right. Did, did you have a good time? I did have a great oh, time. Thank you. Everybody had I, I, a good time. I actually wonder the people who are listening out there, like, if they want to you know, let us know if they had a good time or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who was their favorite act? I mean, what, what did they enjoy? Yeah, call into 305 969 4626. Let us hear from you. Right. And Saul wants to hear from you, too. So. Where, where can they get a hold of Saul on your Facebook page, on your Twitter and Instagram? What, what, what's Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm everywhere. You, if, if they want to find me, they'll find me. You know, that's all I always tell people. Saul Alvarez, that's it. Saul Alvarez, and everywhere, yes. <laughs> there you go. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> you call Susan, Susan will get a hold of me faster. So. <laughs> that's it. You look for the calendar and you'll find Saul. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to be proofing the calendar, so. <laughs> it should be pretty fun, right? That, that, that's a good job to have. That's a great, that's a great job. Absolutely. <laughs> that and the photographer. <laughs> move a little bit this way, move a little bit that way. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Susan, let's go back into the interview here with Company B. What was... Company B's second song. Company B's second song was fascinating. The first song was Jam on Me. Okay. The second song was fascinating. Yes. So nobody, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. I said nobody knows Jam on Me, but you know, it's, it was our first song. It was our first try, but you know, when we did Fascinating, it was done in like written in like 10 to 15 minutes, you know. It was quick and we never knew it was going to take off like that, and it did. Tell me about Full Circle. Full Circle. Uh, well, you know, Ish, uh, I don't know what he was thinking about. <laughs> but if you listen... I want to know what Full Circle is about. Uh, no, I, I just want to say, I had to I had to say thanks to Saul because he's produced that song for me. I'm, re I'm recording that song and the new version. And uh, it was, you know, for me, it was difficult for my accent. You know what I'm saying? And he's helped me a lot. Do you remember that? Um, and, and I'm shaking my head, yes. Yeah. The bubble head. The bubble head. Yeah, and I'm, oh my God, and I'm so glad now because now is, I I'm, I'm remember, he's told me, you have to work on the, the words, um, the, 
you know, just perfectioning and every words. And, and now I'm, I feel more secure about the scene that song. And as I, I had to take I have to say thanks to him because it was my first recording for Company B. Is you know I feel great and emotional about the song. It's just a big song for me. It's just, that's me big, really big song for me. I love the song, absolutely. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Were you born in Venezuela? Um, I was born in Venezuela and the music too. Actually, my my father was he was passed, was passed away about ten years ago. He was a musician too. Really big musician. He was um, um, how do you say the piano, piano player? Pl piano player, and there were, uh, he was director and composer. And I grow with the music. I grow the music. And actually, and and some opera first. Opera. And an opera, wow. yes. And I'm, and I was working in the symphony orchestra with the horn. With, you don't know what is French horn. French this horn. First horn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like first horn. First horn. Yeah. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? Mean? English is perfect, actually. It was not a French, it was a French horn or a first horn. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Just for yeah. the listening audience. <laughs> yeah, and I was the beat school music all, the, uh, all my life. I studied the music. I worked with music. I studied music. Since, all my life. since what age? What age? Yeah, what age did you start? Oh, uh, like five years. Wow. Yeah, when I was a child with my father. He's At five years old? Yeah, he he's teach me a lot of things about the music. My first instrument was cuatro. It's from Venezuela. You know what it is? Cuatro? It's like guitar, but it's smaller. It's like a Spanish ukulele, I guess. Uh -huh, that's what it's uh -huh. uh, Un cuatro. Un cuatro, sí. It's every, every, every people from Venezuela you know what I'm saying. There you go, Venezuela in the house yeah, or no? Yeah, I'm so proud of that. Un saludo yeah. para Venezuela. Eh, un saludo para mi gente de, de Venezuela que amo y que quiero con mi corazón. Estamos, vamos a salir de esta. Estamos pasando un momento muy duro, pero vamos a salir adelante awesome. con el favor de Dios. Los amo y a mi familia. Uh -huh. <laughs> para no perder la costumbre. <laughs> Also, Cidi is from Venezuela. Also. Yeah, she's from Venezuela, yes. Cidi. She's from. <laughs> she's growing here, but she's from. She's she's born in Venezuela. Too. Originally. Originally. Yes. Yes, yes wow. it is. I can yeah. Venezuela in the house. Company me. Nos apropiamos. Susan, you've been to Venezuela? Uh, no, no. not yet. No? Okay. Oh, yeah. Plan on it. Okay. You plan on it. Yeah. Oh. oh. I hope. <laughs> I hope to go to Venezuela soon. <laughs> so before Company B? Oh, before Company B. Before Company B, I, I work in a lot of bands in Venezuela and here too. I actually, um, I'm seeing in a lot of places here in Miami and West Palm Beach too, with other bands. And American and Latin music, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and uh, Company B, it's for it was for me big stay, like you know. This is uh, big step. Um, yeah, uh, big, a step, big step. Yeah, other level, because I'm always uh, working in Latin, you know, in the comfort place. Right. Like salsa, merengue, bachata, maybe you know pop music, but in Spanish, everything in Spanish. And Company B teach me a lot, a lot the, about the words, about the American <laughs> things, you know. It's the business, business American. It's you know, it's, it's exciting for me. Yeah, and I, dog, I was, huh? they, they tell you about hot dog, uh, apple pie, and baseball? Baseball, hot dog, and apple pie? Yes, I do. Right? We need yeah. to get Company B at the Florida Marlin game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we need to work on that, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah that's I need awesome. to reach out to, to Eddie, awesome. Eddie, Eddie Alexander and, uh, and, and make that happen. You know, Company B performing live at the Marlin Stadium for oh. the Right. Nice. Oh, we nice. Kato K actually, if he's watching some more, because you know, Kato K actually is a photographer for the Marlins now. Right. Oh, so okay. there's a big connection there. So if you're yeah. listening, and Eddie Alexander uh, does all the marketing do over there too. Yeah, so yeah. so we, we have some hookups over there for the Miami Marlins, and uh, nice. Nice. And, and, and we got to try to make that happen. Company B for performing live right there at the Florida oh, Marlins Stadium. God. The Miami Marlins. And she would truly say, right? Jose, can kitchen. you see? Jose. <laughs> right? That would be awesome. And uh, from my understanding, Saul does some uh, some work for you as well? Definitely. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. Um, both 
Saul and Giuseppe, but Saul did this great mix for Cruel Summer. EDM is like awesome. You got to hear it. We want to hear it. Yes, it's really great. Mm -hmm. And we thank him. We appreciate him for all he does for us. Especially while he was going through chemo. Yeah, and going everything. through chemo, you know, still helping mm -hmm. out, you know. And it's probably in his bed, he didn't tell me, but in his bed, mixing and making it happen for us, you know, because he believes in us. That's amazing. Right? When you're lying in bed and you have uh, drugs going through your veins, it's actually the best time to be creative. Sydney <laughs> <laughs> needs some of those drugs. She's asking for drugs right now. She no, has you, you don't want any of those drugs. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe back in the 80s or something different, but not, you don't want those drugs, trust me. Actually, you know, I, I want to take an opportunity to say something. Um, and to other artists who may be listening out there. And I'll explain a little bit about what, uh, what Dolly was saying, you know, when she thanked me, uh, you know, for what we did. And, and what Susan was talking about now. A lot of artists from back in those times um, basically got raw deals. You know, they got bad deals with their producers, record labels. So, um, producers like myself and Giuseppe, uh, you know, me and Giuseppe have been friends for a long time. We've uh, been a part, especially of this genre, uh, freestyle music, dance music, for a long time. We've been around uh, all the original producers and engineers, and, and, uh, and we, we've worked on so many records on, on our own that we know the records better than almost anybody else. Um, I mean, you know, I, I, I know Ish personally, I, I know what he did on the records, uh, you know, and uh, Louis Martin with Expose, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So what we did is that, uh, and what we've done for several artists, uh, Company B uh, being, you know, one, uh, on a bigger level, but Walter Power, Expose, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of artists who lost control of their masters, uh, meaning their actual recordings, they couldn't go out there and perform, they couldn't sell their music. Um, you know, and a lot of artists don't understand the business side of it. Uh, kind of like similar to like what Prince did. Prince actually uh, re-recorded his entire catalog so that he could put it out himself, even though Warner Brothers owned the original masters. So what we've done is, uh, in myself and Giuseppe, and a lot of other producers, you know, uh, can do the same thing. But but we make a really good team because of our experience in this genre. So what we did is that with Company B, what, what you hear them performing now, and uh, what's available for sale is actually a exact uh, copy uh, to the T. You, can, you can't even tell the difference. You know, with the exception of the vocals, I, I, you know, delivery being a little bit different, fresher and newer, uh, because you know, there's new singers involved. Uh, but what we do is that we, we get those uh, masters uh, in, in their hands so that they can sell them, get them available to the public, perform them, uh, and have control of their careers. Uh, so that's one of the things that we've been doing, helping a lot of artists. Uh, getting, uh, I'm not trying to pitch my services, but <laughs> but basically letting people know that you can do that as an artist, whether you hire us to do it um, or you uh, you do it on your own. Uh, basically, reproduce your your masters so that you can get control of that. I know a lot of my friends who own record labels. I won't mention those names, you know, or producers might get mad or upset. But you know, the truth is that a lot of artists uh, didn't get their due right, you know, their due diligence, and um, and you know, and that's what it's about: taking control of your career uh, so that you can go out there perform. Uh, sell your stuff and uh, and, ha and have a good quality, you know, so that you're not singing over the uh, the vocals that were originally there. Right. When, when Company B sings, they're singing, you know, uh, over the track. They're singing live, you know. So you're not going to get a, a, a BS show, you know. You, you're going to get the real deal, and that's why, you know, like if, if you if you were privileged to be there this Saturday, because it really was a heck of a show to be at. You know, you saw the, the way that they performed, and all those songs were songs that were reproduced by us, um, and you know. If anyone wants to tell me differently, I mean, it was a heck of a show. They, the girls put on a great performance, uh, as well as every artist that was there. And uh, there's a lot of artists out there that we don't mention that we've worked with and we, we reproduce their, their stuff, you know, for certain reasons. And we've kind of kept this one quiet for a while uh, because we didn't want a, a, a certain people to be upset. But it is what it is, you know. The bottom line is that, uh, you know, Susan means a lot to me. She's been a good friend, a loyal friend for a long time, and uh, I've been there to, to, to help her. And I'm excited about the, you know uh, about Dolly and City being part of the group, and doing everything that they're doing. And uh, Company B, I mean, look out! It's going to be a huge, you know, Cruel Summer is just the first step uh, on, on, on getting things to a bigger level. And you're going to hear so much more stuff coming from them. And hopefully, you know, I'll be involved with some other stuff. And you know, hopefully, you know. well, you know, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look, the, the truth is, we're and, just and, waiting and, and on you to recover. Don't take this. Don't take this in a morbid way. You know, I could drop that tomorrow hey, for something so else. Hey, so can I? But exactly. Not, yeah. so, but but still. it happens, you know. But uh, don't worry. You know, there, there's a couple things in the vault ready for them. So.
So full circle. That's one of your uh, one of your productions right there. Yes. Yes. Play it. Yeah. <laughs> let's play. Let's hear. It. Stop full circle right here. Oh. Web on oh. FM. Wow. <laughs>
shows you that we are live. This is not pre-recorded. This is live right here at Weba.fm. Live. 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 So that was full circle. Yes. Now full circle. circle. Yes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. This is, you know, it's just real because my first interview is in English. You know, it's you're, crazy. You're... <laughs> my, uh, yeah. My, my first radio interview is in English. What? <laughs> Something what? Her, <laughs> her first interview in English. An interview, yeah. right? Uh huh. Yeah, it's in English. But, that's and full amazing. circle. Do you know what that song's about? Uh, I know now, but <laughs> it could be about a lot of things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, if you listen to any of those songs. Yeah, you know what they're all about. They're pretty much right. all about the same yeah. thing. I was all about I the same thing, right? I want to get with you right here in the park. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, again, remind we may have new listeners on there, so I want them to know where they can uh, get your music, where they can find you, where your Facebook, your Instagram, okay. your Twitter. Companybmusic.com. That's where you can find, see our videos, you can see our music, you can buy our T-shirts. You can see everything about us on that page, you know, on our website. On Facebook, you can catch us at Company B, at The Real Company B. On Instagram, it's Company B, all together, lowercase, and also on Twitter. Also yes. On Twitter. And our new song, Cruel Summer, is on iTunes. It's a lot on iTunes. It's just 95. 99, 99 cents. 99 so, cents. 99 cents. So, you know. We want to know how many how many songs just got bought for that 99 cent. We, we told everybody to stop what you're doing and go out there and support Company B and buy the song right now. Stop what you're doing and go on iTunes oh, and we, purchase a song. We, we want people to still listen to, to, to what we're doing. but Yeah, know. yes, yes. <laughs> but we, we want them to purchase a song. You can do song. both at the same time. You can buy the song <laughs> and listen at and the same listen, time. So. You know, because we just heard full circle, which, which, which means, you know, I, I want to get with you at the end of the party. And the next song we're going to hear is called Perfect Lover. So that happened after Full Circle. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> so when, when, when really they got together after the party, uh -huh. you know, somehow they became the perfect lover. Yeah, it, you know, it was so. all good. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what happened, Susan? Yeah, that's what happened. After that Full Circle, it was like, I love you. You're my perfect lover. And, and then it's going to be a cruel summer? Yeah. After the breakup? Yeah. After the breakup, yeah. the breakup is going to be a cruel hot summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess it wasn't a perfect lover after oh. all. No? Yeah, you're going to be cruel in Miami. Cruel in Miami. Yes. So, I, I know you got something coming up. Um, I think you told me is tomorrow, is it? Yes, tomorrow we will be at Eaton Rock with T.I. and O.T. It's going to be a pool party, it's a pool party tomorrow yeah. at 2 o'clock. a private party or a public party or do you know? It's a private party. Private, private party. party. So yes. you guys wearing bikinis? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we don't want to get our hair wet. <laughs> <laughs> so the next place publicly that Company B is going to be at is where? Right now we're in the studio. but. As far as seeing us, you can see us every Wednesday, except this Wednesday coming up at 1.30 on In the Kitchen with Company B. That's so right. When you interviewed me, you told me there was something coming up about in, in, in the bedroom with Company B. Yeah, that's coming. And in the bed. In the bed. In the bed. In the bed. That's in August. That's in August. August. And I think see? it's already filled up. For August. You want to I guess? I, I, I can't get interviewed again. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was booked for me. <laughs> I yeah, did something. Uh, I, I got I got the short end of the stick on that one. <laughs> so, you know, we never know where we're gonna be with Gail, our manager, you know, in the bed. Next time it's gonna be adventures with company B, so we're right. gonna be going out to different places, maybe, you know, yeah. uh jet skiing, you know, hanging out. You 
this year. We don't know yet. We, we don't know, know yet. She's so you're gonna be with Ti, so yeah. next thing I know, you're gonna be in that big uh, yacht out there somewhere in South Beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're planning a new video for cool, cool for cool summer. summer. Yes. yes. Cruise uh, summer. Yes. I follow you on Facebook, so I know you did some acts. You've been, you know, you you were traveling around. Oh yes, we were mm -hmm. in Victorville. We Victorville. In, yes. Where's that at? Uh, California. California. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's know where, but we, we, we were there. Yeah. It was it was a nice crowd. It yes. was awesome crowd. My God, a lot of fans there. Yes, we oh, were in. Uh, was crazy. Where were we? Where was that? We were and in, big. Um, we were in, Bakersville, Bakersville, we were there also. It's difficult to pronounce for me, but this, yes. And, Bakersville and... and we, we took a drive in a car and we went somewhere else mm -hmm. in California. What was, the, what was it, the first place? Fresno. Bakersville? Fre no, we didn't do that. Fresno. Okay. It was Fresno. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, my Fresno. God. Yeah, you know, that was, that yeah. was, that was, that was sold out. Yeah. That, that was sold out. out. Yeah. yeah, that so was sold out. Then Bakersfield, then Victor. Thank you, Alan Beck. <laughs> Charlie's so. on. Say hi to Charlie Rodriguez. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, like I said, we're in the studio trying mm -hmm. to get ourselves in the gym to get ready for well, the calendar. Yeah. So we're at the gym every day, so twice a day. You know. They have to go to the gym. Twice a day? You gotta go to the gym? Yes. Are you sure you can yes. dress twice, twice a day? Yeah. 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 Twice a day. For, for that lingerie uh, no, calendar? I don't no, need no, no, just <laughs> water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 just for me. For me. The ice diet. The ice diet. Exactly. Bob Rosenberg said hello. Hey, Bob. How you doing? Hey, Bob. I'm missing everybody here. Bob, Joe, you're next over Joe here for an interview. Curry we need you over says, here. Hello, ladies. Y'all need to get Connie <laughs> and y'all cooking show. We have to her do one of our concoctions. She's coming on our show. Yeah, Connie's she coming on the show. August. Yes, Connie will be there. We yeah. have we have Tito uh, yeah, Cortez. Okay. Yes. That's, that's the 19th, isn't it? We have Is Nasty it? Boys on Wednesday. Nasty Boys. Then Tito. Uh, up to it. Okay. Then Connie is next month. Yes, Connie's all next the girls month. Are All the ladies month. are next, next month. month. Yes. That's not when the bedroom thing is. Yeah, it's yeah. not the bedroom. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> they call <laughs> them themselves. Right? <laughs> they call them themselves. <laughs> We're having a pajama That's gonna party. Be interesting. Right? It's going to be a party. pajama party. I know, I know Saul wants to be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be watching. That's it. <laughs> I see the smile on his face. I'm doing it on He wants to be a part of that interview in the bedroom. You have to every solve it. <laughs> yes. Every man's one. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then that's part of the lingerie uh, calendar show. Is that part of uh, it? We don't no? know yet. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. You don't know. Oh, we want to be x-rated at 1.30, though. No, no, no. <laughs> Tell me about the new uh, version here of Perfect Lover. Perfect Lover. CD sings that. Perfect Lover. Yeah. Um, it's just, it tells about when you find that perfect love and you feel it inside you know i feel a perfect love i feel the perfect love you know when you first fall in love that's what that's about you know? how long does that last <laughs> <laughs> it's it different from every it, <laughs> it, it lasts until the cruel summer, summer. <laughs> <laughs> which is here now <laughs> you know that's really sexy song yeah it's sexy, sexy yeah now. i feel the yeah. perfect yeah. love mm -hmm. whatever yeah. i'm with you and it goes yeah. well right after the Full circle. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> right. It all leads That's up to the cruel summer. Uh huh. <laughs> Which is now. Right. Which is yes, now. now. Which we're here now. Yeah, it's hot in here. Right. It's, it's hot outside. I yeah. thought it was me, but it's hot in here. It's hot it's in here. Hot. Huh? See, I told you it was hot in here. I mentioned that a little while ago. It's too hot. Uh oh. It's too hot. The too hot mix <laughs> by Saul. There you go. Saul, so, you want to say anything about Perfect Lover? Um, just, you know, another one of the hits, uh, a great song. You know, I, what happened with the group, you know, with, with all the, the hits is that, you know, each one of the girls takes a, uh, an opportunity to sing so they can showcase their voice. And, you know, that was the whole idea so that uh, every, everyone gets to uh, experience each girl's voice and, and, and you know, they, they each gets, get to showcase themselves. So, uh, so City did a great job on, on this song as well. And uh, just go ahead and play it. Stop talking so much. <laughs> they, Before you do They want to listen to music. They want to hear Hi, the music, Giuseppe. huh? Giuseppe. Hey, we Hello. love you. Yeah. Let's hear it then. Perfect love right here on TGIF, WEPA.FM.
I actually like this version even better than the original. Yeah, me too. Three zero five nine six nine four six two six. Three zero five nine six nine four six two six. Call in. Speak to Company B. They're waiting for your call. They want you to order and prepay your calendar. <laughs> the lingerie calendar coming out for the cruel summer. Right here, Company B on Webon.fm. We're back. That was Perfect Lover right here on Webbo.fm, TGIF. And if you want to see the video, everybody's asking us in the chat room, where can you see the video, the, the, the web? You can see it at, where, Susan? Susan Maria Gonzalez page. On Facebook? Yes, yeah. on Facebook and after, it will be on Company B's page yeah. on but, Facebook. But, but if yes. you want to see it now live. Right now, Susan now Maria live. Gonzalez, yes. Susan Maria Gonzalez on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Check it out, go in there. It's a live right now on Facebook. You can see it. Also, Lisa, 
It's also uh, videotaping at Facebook Live also as well, Lisa Gosano. You can get on her Facebook page as well. And uh, it's a full house here. I just yeah. found out right now that tomorrow is Susan's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to sing Happy Birthday, birthday too? Yeah. <laughs> She's turning Almost 21 fun. tomorrow. Oh, forever. Forever. <laughs> so, no you have to more, say, right? somebody can buy her her first drink tomorrow. Yes. yes. She'll be legal to have her first drink. <laughs> That's why today she's only drinking water. Just water. <laughs> well, so you know what song we're going to hear next, right? Cruel Summer. Cruel Summer. Ooh, Which yes. version? Yeah. We're going to hear both, both versions, versions of Cruel Summer. Okay. We have both of them. Okay, great. Okay. So the one that's on iTunes right now is, is Giuseppe. Giuseppe. We're putting up EDM. Yeah, it was great working with... Giuseppe, he's easy to work with. We love him. We thank him for doing Cruel Summer for us. We just know it's going to be do great things. Yes. Tell me more about your cloth, your uh, oh, clothing line. Yeah, okay. see your shirts. Cool. Our shirts are Company B. And this we, is different. Yes, I have the racer back, uh -huh. and she has the cap sleeves. My shirt is twenty. Hers is twenty five. And we also have the men's shirts also. We also have the hoodies. The hoodies, yes. See that? Mm -hmm. We got the hoodies. <laughs> you can get that on companybmusic.com. And if you like me and you want to wish me a happy birthday, you can go purchase a shirt. You know, that'll be great. <laughs> that'll be a great birthday gift. <laughs> right here, they're saying happy birthday to you already. Look at oh, here. Oh, thank you. Oh. Pictures, please. Pictures. They you can see the pictures. Wrong. You know what everybody should do for her birthday? Everybody should go out there and download and buy. The iTunes. Yeah. Exactly. That's the best That's birthday gift that, that, exactly. that company B can get and Susan yes. can get. Everybody, every single, 99 cents, it's all it costs. That's it. 99 Buy it, cents leave a for review, me to wish me happy birthday. Tell us the truth if you like it. If you don't like it, keep your opinion to yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but everybody should go out and download it. That would be the, the, the most amazing. Yeah, that would be get. a great gift. Yes, I, everyone. I, I agree with Over that. Over a million. Yes. But I think you love this song. It is, it's a great, great version. Especially for this hot summer. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Susan's birthday, go out there and buy the song. Get on iTunes. iTunes. 99 cents. Come on. 99 cents. Like I said a little while ago, a bottle of water costs more than 99 cents. And the easy way to find out is Cruel Summer Company B. Yeah. Cruel Summer Company B. Yeah. Type it in. Search. Yeah. Uh -huh. Search it. Search it up. Cruel Summer Company B. Search it up. And uh, purchase a song. It's Susan's birthday. Support her. Support yes, Company did. B. It's the best present. 99 cents. <laughs> buy the song. We want everybody out there to buy the song. And we have listeners listening worldwide. Vamos a decirlo en español. Go ahead. Vayan a iTunes, a la tienda, y solamente por 99 centavos pueden comprar la canción Cruel Summer y reproducirla las veces que quieran. Solamente 90. Es menos de un dólar. Hello. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la mejor no, no, no. forma de encontrar el Company B, me dijiste? Solamente, eh, si ponen Cruise Summer Company B, lo encuentran facilito, directo, les da el enlace a la canción en iTunes. Ahí Así está. Que, oye, okay. ya saben. We facilito. are bilingual ah, internet radio right. station. We, we are, are, exactly, we are bilingual. Hola. ¿Qué <laughs> 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 Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Spanglish. That's the, Spanglish. the best thing about internet radio is worldwide. So you got people listening to you worldwide right now, oh, all over the nice. world. Oh, you nice. know, I got people that, nice. that, that send me messages from Nicaragua, from oh, everywhere. Oh, saludos you know? Nicaragua eh, y a todos los países que nos están escuchando ahora, la gente latina. Pues arriba los latinos. California is <laughs> listening to us. Um, who else is listening? Um, San Francisco. Colorado, San, San Francisco, Francisco. <clears throat> uh, Virginia. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, that's the, the beauty about internet radio is they're, they're everywhere, everywhere, you know, yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be local. Like we all worked on the FM stations, you know, so, but FM stations keep you to, to your local area. Internet radio it's takes you to the whole everywhere. world. Yes, so that's incredible. So all over the world, they're listening right now to your interview. They're listening to you. And, and Susan, you're going to see it blow up tomorrow on, on, on <laughs> iTunes. And right now, look what just happened. You see, I'm talking and talking and talking. And Cruel Summer just came on. Uh -oh. So we're going to hear it right here. Cruel Summer. Woo. Right here. Weba.fm.
gonna go live. Hold on. We're back live. We got somebody on the phone. Hey, Nick, are you there? So you have a question for us, Nick? Thank you, Nick. Uh, it's out now on iTunes. Um, the EDM should be out by Tuesday. And Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and we're glad that you love the song. Love the song. I've been listening to it on my, on my motorcycle every day. He says oh, he listens to it on his motorcycle every day. Well, oh. thank you. <laughs> so, obviously, you purchased it, correct? Absolutely. Thank oh. you. I know, right? It's so cool out there. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motorcycle do you have, Nick? Harley Davidson, nothing much of that. Oh, no, 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 I beg you differ. No, man. So Honda CBR 600. That's where I roll. <laughs> well, thank you, Nick, for calling yeah. in. So when, 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 when you have to have your fun, Nick, I'm going to watch it. That's why I missed the show in Emerald uh, Private Chapter 1. Oh, you missed the show? The in, uh, oh. The show. Well, we'll put it on our website, but right now we're in the studio and we're working on, you know, a new album, a new video, a calendar, a yeah. video, a, song. a person, and a new song. And a new song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. Awesome. But Nick, awesome. Nick, what you want to know is, um, what you want to ask him is, how can you get a copy of that calendar? Because you want to, <laughs> you, you, you definitely want that lingerie calendar oh company B. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, oh, Odo prepaid for the calendar, right? I, pre I, I, I prepaid it already. So I, I should have the first copy and I want an autograph, you know? <laughs> Instead of 99 cents, it's $99. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can yeah. get the song for 99 cents, but the calendar is $99. Yeah, we're working <laughs> yeah, we, we a lot for that. <laughs> Thank you for calling in. All right, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Nick. Company B, you heard Nick right here live on WEPA.FM. If you want to speak to Company B, you can call them too. 305-969-4626. They're still here in the studio. It's not too late to give them a call. We heard uh, Fascinated. We heard um, Full Circle. We heard what happens after the full circle. We have the perfect lover. <laughs> and then we heard what happens when you break up, when you get tired of that perfect lover. Because, you know, after a while it gets tiring. You know, the same person over and over again. And then you get the cruel summer. <laughs> and that's... And Susan's laughing yeah. at <laughs> She can't believe I just said that. No. <laughs> so, and coming up after yeah, exactly. cruel summer is a lingerie <laughs> calendar. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get another call. Weba.fm, hello. Weba.fm, hello. Hello. This is Otto, yes. Do you want to speak to Company B? Can you hear him? No. Hello. I can hear you. Hey, Pedro. You want to hear? You want to talk to Company B? Hello. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. He wants to hear. He wants to talk to Company B. This Susan at Pedro. Yeah. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? 
<laughs> I'm doing great. It's just really hot in here. <laughs> it's like almost a cruel summer. <laughs> you what? Yeah. Yes, we're in Miami. It's not, it was 95 degrees today. That's right. We are having technical difficulties. <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, okay. Nice. nice. You have any question for us? Did you buy the song? And, and, and video, did you did you buy the song? We want you to go on iTunes and buy the song. It will. Uh -huh. It will. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Is he prepaying the calendar already? Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. They need you to prepay the. We need you, to pause. You can buy the song for ninety nine cents, and you can purchase the calendar for ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Okay. I didn't hear you. Frankie. Frankie from Extreme Weasel. Big shout out to Frankie. Thank you guys for listening to WEPA.FM and to listening to the Company B interview right here on TGIF. Thank you for calling in. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. So Susan, what everybody's asking out there is, how can they get a copy of that EDM? Because everybody yes, loves love that. that EDM that hot, from yeah. Saul Alvarez. Well, it's going to be out Monday, most likely mm -hmm. Monday, 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 Tuesday, the latest. You know, okay. we had to get a picture to put up with it, so we were um, taking <laughs> some pictures the other day. So we wanted to put up a nice picture for everyone. With the lingerie? No. <laughs> no, yeah, no. With the wigs. No. With the wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> so you heard it. We want everybody to download the music right now. 99 cents. Go on iTunes. iTunes. 99 cents. Cool yeah. summer. Company B. Right. You can go into support. Comp support your freestyle artists. Yes. Absolutely. And you can find out with Company B. Cool summer. Company B. And, 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 la encontrar en Company B. Directo. Cool Summer Company B. Y aparece directo. It's available now in iTunes. Just 99 cents. <laughs> she wants to say 95. 95. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like right? 95. And if, you're, if, you're, if, you're Google, if you're a Samsung user, it will be on Google Play as well. Exactly. Oh, see, and I was Google wondering. Play, yeah. Google and Play. I, what about Android? Is that the same? Yeah, that's that's Samsung? Samsung? Mm -hmm. Google Play. See, I only know iPhone. I don't know any other phone, so I won't oh. know. So it's oh. Google oh. Play. Oh. Sorry, oh. sorry. Oh. sorry. <laughs> Spotify, you know, Google Spotify. Play. Okay, cool. Spotify, Google Play. Lisa had a couple questions for you. She wanted to know who, as a, as a, as a young girl, who yeah, inspired girl. you, which artist inspired you <laughs> to uh, become who you are today? In my case, oh my God, I have a lot of artists. I think uh, one, one singer inspired me was Gloria Stefan because she's Latin too. She's a amazing, uh, she's doing an amazing, successful work and I think it's just a good example for us, you know, and she's inspiring me a lot. Gloria Stefan. Gloria Stefan, yes. Great person. Maybe you can perform over in her uh, place over there in Wynwood. Yeah. <laughs> right? Actually, we, ha we have the Gloria Stefan Midley. Yes, and Latin, we do. And, and, and Span Spanish. And Spanish is the first song. It's uh, Yo Mi Canto and then we're going to we do into conga and Britney is gonna get you. Right. That's yeah. it. And gotta, people, people love that in yeah. California. We gotta get Gail to hook it up with uh, Gloria Stefan, Emilio Stefan over there in Winwood. They have a, a new place over there in Winwood. Just opened up not too long ago. Yeah. The Stefan Kitchen. Cool. And, I love it. And, 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 and you guys can go over there and, and perform. Hey. You know what I mean? Oh, our, our good friend Alex Arias, who's been here before, is actually the. Uh, the, uh, the piano player uh, in the restaurant. There you go. So oh. Saul's going to hook it up. He's going to get right. Gloria. Recorded in the studio before Univibe Studio that I took you to. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I want to hear about that when you get girls okay, gonna we'll be performing. Okay, we'll let you know when we're there. Right. <laughs> and uh, and Susan, go ahead. Who who inspired you? Oh yeah, there's so many. Um, I love Tina Turner. <gasps> Tina Me Turner. Too. You know, oh my um, God. I like Tina Turner's legs, but go ahead. <laughs> Everybody loves Tina. Yeah, he had the awesome legs. Beautiful legs. Diana Ross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, I love Barbara Streisand. You know, so many. It's, it's just so many, yeah. They're all great. And, you know, still performing. Right. Tina Turner, and Diana Ross. And the new Ross. generation, I think, uh, Beyonce. She's amazing. She's really yeah, that's a great dancer, great singer, and everything. She's a doing a great performance. Yes, our manager makes us, you know, has us practicing in heels now and she wants to start running. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I'll do the whole show without breathing deep. <laughs> What's something that you girls learned early on in your careers that made you better artists? What we learned early in our career that made us better artists have a contract. <laughs> <laughs> So if there was something that you could change with the music industry, it would have been that, right? Yeah, have read, a contract. Read, read the contract. Read the contract, <laughs> you know. Know what you're getting yourself into, you know. So you can make some money and not, you know, not. And the people, never stopping, never. The, the, that, that, uh, that, that career never, never uh, ending for to anyone. I don't care. Um, never that's give up on your Exactly. Exactly. Doesn't matter if you have uh, any age. This, that's, uh, no importa. <laughs> Just <laughs> believe. She wants to it's say, bilingual. no matter how old no matter you how, are, exactly. you still can do exactly. it. Exactly. You know, don't yeah. listen to what everybody else has to say. Yeah. If you feel you, it's yeah. in you. You do it for yourself. Maybe a lot of people, a lot of people say, oh no, you had to stop because you know, maybe you're too old now for the, you know. For, uh, doing that career now because everybody's oh no 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 and isn't Keep that going. something that women have to like face every day we get older oh my gosh <laughs> yeah <laughs> everybody's getting all these facelifts and everything because they want to still look young so they can still be in their field mm -hmm. and i don't think they should have to when men get old and gray and they're still you know they're distinguished and they still get to why did you, you know? look at me when you said gray <laughs> 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 because <laughs> Saul has no hair <laughs> Right in front of me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I got more gray than you. So, so. Yeah, so it was that. Yeah. Next question for you. You can have any artist out there right now to do a song with, together with them. Who would that artist be? Oh. Your choice. Oh, any artist? Yeah. You can, you can do a song with any artist. Who would that artist be? Maybe they're listening right now. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> Pitbull once said, you know, when he did an interview that he used to listen to Company B when he was <coughs> little. Yes. And he liked us. So yeah. you never know. Oh. You never know. He's here with us in Miami. You know, that would be great. So call us Pitbull. <laughs> okay. Um, and what about you? Uh, oh, my God. I have a lot. Uh, one artist. One Uno. artist? Uno. Uno. Uh, okay. If you had your it, choice to, <laughs> to do a song with any artist, any one of them, yeah. in the world, who would it be? Any word? Uh, Bruno Marx. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. He's great. Also. great. Yeah. Bruno, give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you girls. Do you think that being female helps you in your industry or works against you? Well, if you have morals, it works against you, I feel. You know, <laughs> you know. When I was younger, it was you know to get out there. It's excuse a man's me, world. Excuse me. Excuse me. When I what? You're still younger. Okay, I'm still yeah. young. But when I was a baby, <laughs> to get in the field, it was really hard because people just wanted more than what you were willing to give up. You know. And have you ever had women judge you like, oh, you got oh, what you got God. because oh, of what? Oh, oh come on. God. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't you feel betrayed at times, thinking that a female should understand more your position, how hard you've worked, how hard, how far you've come along? They should, but you know, 
women are the worst critics than the men, you know. Mm -hmm. They're worse on us than the men are. Mm -hmm. You know, they nitpick every piece of us down to the shoes, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And we have nothing but love for everybody out there. We want everyone to do well, you know, with your niche in life. It's like, mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, you have to, you keep going with your dreams. Just keep going. No matter what the, the people say to you, no matter what you have, you have a greedy side. Right. So more than any girls want to inspire other women, right? Yes. Yes, yes they're loved. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Set your goals high, you know, and make them happen. You know, don't let no anybody to you. No importa de donde seas, ni de donde vengas, siempre puedes lograrlo. Eso es algo que te quería preguntar, como mujer latina, en un, estás haciendo algo bien difícil. Para sí. mí el español es un poquito difícil porque aprendí inglés primero. Mm -hmm. So, is it hard for you? Is it hard for me? Yes, because it's, it's not my first language and I've just spent in that country just six years, mm -hmm. you know? So, just, you've only been six years here. Just six years, you know? <laughs> Solamente en seis años no puedes aprender perfecto, you know? And when the people try to humiliate you, you know? Tratan de humillarte. Oh, you don't talk, you know, a lot. Ah, your English is bad. I don't care, you know? I don't yeah. care. Because nobody, nobody can humiliate you. It's just, no me importa. No es mi idioma. Eh, estoy aprendiendo, you know? I'm still learning English. And, I'm, and I'll do it. And when I go to the stage, I enjoy my work. But I imagine you get a lot of support from Susan, right? Yes, and I th and, and I had to say I had to thank oh Susan gosh, because so she gave to me the big opportunity to start and, and that project, the big project. I remember when when I went when oh, I met her day? and the first yeah, uh, I was I was working on a American place. Thank to God for that place <laughs> because it was it was my first work uh that singing in English is yeah it was a tiki bar. So it opened and she's a, yes and I and came there and I saw her and I liked her. You yeah know. and and I had to thanks thanks to Melina Almodovar because she's recommended to Susan. Ella es de Puerto Rico un saludo a Melina um, un beso grande te quiero mucho thanks for her because she's uh ella me habló eh, ella dio mi número a Susan Eh, y ella me recomendó, este, ella es una artista, cantante artista de la salsa y pues ve, fíjate, una latina fue quien me recomendó por Company Vido, you know, the, the Latin performance. Y it was great, you know, bueno, y aquí estamos. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still working, I'm still learning everything, and I'm, and I'm still, and I'm practice, I'm trying to practice every day about my accent, about my I don't do it. I never stop. <laughs> That's right. Company B, Wepa FM, TGIF, Thank God it's Freestyle. One of the last questions I like to ask myself is if there's a new artist out there that wants to come into the field, what is your advice to them? They're brand new, they're just coming into the field. What is your advice to them? Oh, okay, what is my advice to someone new? Um, Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's the same advice I wish someone had told me, which I just said, you know, make sure when you get with a producer, make sure you have a contract, you know, have yourself a lawyer to go over because, you know, you want to make this long-lasting, you know, full life of entertainment. You don't want to just be here one minute and the next thing you know somebody else singing your songs, you know. I have a question for you girls. Have you ever had media work against you? For example, today I opened up my Facebook and I saw that Beyonce had to most likely confront the fact that her husband came out with it, that he's been cheating on her. I have did? you guys ever had something like that? <laughs> oh, he came out with it already? Oh. He did, he did. He did? Yeah. Really? Yes, well, I, I kind of knew it when uh, yeah, the sister beat him up in the air a little bit. You know, uh, media, hmm, do we have any media? Catch 22 situations. I mean, it's not, you know, not yet. We haven't had anything that's really bad. No, I think no. Oh, yeah. Or have you ever seen yeah. a picture and you're like, damn, they got my wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, plenty of those. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of wrong pictures. Can you take that down, please? No. <laughs> no. Pictures, yeah. No. Perception is everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, any shout outs that you want to give out before we go off? Okay, uh, yes, I'd like to shout out to Giuseppe. We love you. Thank you for helping us with the songs. Um, we're looking forward to working with you and Saul in the future. We'd like to shout out to Angel Rodriguez for tomorrow. You'll see him there. We'd like to shout out to Frank and Barry. Charlie Rodriguez. Uh, who else? Anybody? Yes, I would like to take hands to all the people who are joining us in that amazing interview. Uh, we had a great, great, great time. And to Saul, because he has surprises, big surprises, big surprises. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I went, yes, and I went to and I went to for the great interview. It was a really great interview, emotional. It was exciting for me, you know. And my first interview, mm -hmm. and and I want to remember the people. Uh, cool summer is available available in iTunes just for ninety nine. And the calendar? Uh, uh, yeah, that's coming soon. But that's we'll coming like, soon. The new media is coming soon. I'd mm -hmm. like to thank our manager, Gail. And also uh, for In the Kitchen, Magnolia, who uh, makes those special meals. Magnolia, Mama Magnolia. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't make them. Magnolia, you know. You know. <laughs> I, and actually, I have a question for Saul before we Okay. Uh, is it difficult working with women? Yes. We have a reputation. Uh, I, I'll keep you safe. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Actually, actually uh, on the contrary, I think that, that, that sometimes male artists can be more divas than, than women. Are you uh, I mean, when, when you're in a room full of, like, I, I have no hair on my tongue, so I'm going to say it how it is. Uh -huh. When you're in a room full of women, there's a lot of estrogen in the room. Uh -huh. uh, you know, things can get uh, crazy. But. Uh, I think that women have, uh, um, you know, they, they they have something to prove. You know, uh, unfortunately, you know, we, we live in a society where things are not equal 100. percent And uh, I think that they, they work harder, uh, they're they're more determined, and uh, they want it more. And so, from my experience, I, I I've, I've seen a, a little bit more work ethic from uh, working with, with uh, female artists than I have with male artists. So male artists feel more entitled. Um, I I think there's always a sense of entitlement. Um, you know. It depends how you look at, at, at the industry. The, in, the industry has always been uh, somewhat sexist, uh, in a sense, you know, uh, sex sells. And uh, whether you look at it from the male perspective, uh, the female perspective, and now, you know, even, you know, crossing genders. Uh, so, you know, there, there's certain things that are always going to be uh, around when it comes to, uh, to selling a, a female artist, and there's things that are always going to be available uh, when it comes to selling a male artist. But I think that, uh, that, that a female, at the, uh, Women artists, at the end of the day, work a little bit harder because they're more determined. Like, I, I always say this, God's greatest creation was a woman. Yeah. Yay! And, and I like it. Yay. I it. Yeah. He became my favorite person in the room. Yeah, yeah. No. Wait, yeah. I, I thought I was your favorite person. No, no, no. Yeah, Otto, you're gonna I'm going to have to leave you it for tonight. That's <laughs> it, um, I'm leaving. When it, when it comes to, like, you know, you know, for example, uh, uh, you know, Greatest example of how a man's gonna treat you is how he treats his mom, right? right? right. And so, Absolutely. you know, to me, my mother's the most important thing in the world, and <coughs> nobody ever worked harder than her. And uh, you know, besides the obvious, you know, that that a woman, uh, you know, is, is, a, is, a, is a is a homemaker and, and, and raises the children and you know and, and cooks and cleans and, and does all those things. They're, they're, they're the nurse, the doctor, the the, the you know the, the fixer upper, the handyman. They do everything around. You know, they they. My, my mom was the one who taught me how to sing. My mom was the one who taught me how you know uh, to, to, to continue to practice. You know, yeah. My my father bought my guitar, but if it wasn't for my mother. I wouldn't have continued. You know, she was the one who put that inspiration in me to continue and the drive to. Your number one fan, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. She's a little deaf, but yeah, she. Was <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely, I, I, uh, I, I, in this business, you know, um, there, I think as individuals, we we look at things equal, you know, but uh, unfortunately, um, in the business sense of it, uh, you know, sex sells. You know, attractive women on, on a, an attractive cover, mm -hmm. um, and like what Susan said earlier, you know, you, you try to keep the mor morality about, you know, involved in it. Not everyone does that. Not everyone can do that. I think there's a fine line that you know uh, some people cross, some people don't, and you know that's up to the individual themselves. 
Uh, I think you know the girls coming to be do a great job. You know they're, they're sexy. They're uh, you know uh, they 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 do the right job of, of uh, exposing themselves to a certain point, but now we're doing it, and, uh, and and that's great. You know, so looking forward to that lingerie calendar. What's <laughs> 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 gonna kill you, bro? <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed when you open that calendar. It's gonna, they're gonna be fully dressed. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a fireman suit or something like that. Oh, and I also like to thank my husband because without him, <laughs> I would be working a nine to five job. And I know he's over. Well, I can't see where he's at, but he's out of the country, you know, in the service. And I just like to thank him for you know affording me to stay home so I can do this with the girls. Serving our country. Thank you. Thank you, girls, for coming over here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Right. Thank you, Saul, for surprising us. Yes, thank my you. Pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you, Gail, for uh, bringing them over here and making this happen. We appreciate you being part of the show, TGIF. Thank God it's freestyle. And looking forward to, uh, to seeing you girls performing all over the world. And uh, don't forget when they take you to Brazil. Say we we got to take our DJ with us, <laughs> <laughs> and we're not gonna leave Saul out of it. So say you got to take your producer with you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna end the interview right now with uh, Cruel Summer. Everybody wants to hear it and they want to know when it's coming out. You already said it's coming out Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, or next week, and you can pick it up on iTunes, right? Yes, yes. that's right. Over, right now, the, the the original version. Uh, just to get it clear, Giuseppe D is the uh, producer of the original version. Me and Giuseppe, he was just here, so you guys know we're, we're partners. We individually work on projects on our own. Giuseppe's a, a very well known with a discography longer than, than than the Bible almost. You know, like you know, pages upon pages of uh, of songs the guys worked on. Um, he, uh, he actually I started before him, and he's beat me. He's worked on more records than than, than almost any producer that I know. Um, but he uh, he was the one who actually uh, I wasn't feeling that great and uh, didn't get the opportunity to, to work together with him on the song. He produced uh, the, the version of uh, Cruel Summer for the girls, and um, I uh, you know, volunteered afterwards to, to do a remake. Uh, it's a little bit of therapy for me, believe it or not, you know, trying to get over this, uh, this cancer treatment, and uh, it worked out. You know? So I think both versions are great, different versions, different approaches. One's a little bit more club, the other one's more pop radio. And uh, I, I think you know, people will like both of them. So the response so far has been pretty good. And, uh, I love it. One's available now. The other one will be available next week. Nice. And you can get it both. That's it. Let's check it out. Thanks again to the girls, Company B, for being part of uh, TGIF and for Saul for coming out here and uh, surprising us today. And uh, let's check it out. True Summer one more time right here on WebOut.FM.
back around there. Are you still videotaping? Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh.